welcome back everybody so today we're gonna check out bourbon county brand sir isaac stout uh, now this is the 2022 version um, we're almost to black friday for 2023 um, i did pick this up obviously on black friday in 2022 i never drank it i wanted to save it um i think here we might have got four four or five different kinds. I, I think I picked everything up. But this one I wanted to save. So, um, stout aged in bourbon barrels with figs, graham crackers, and natural flavor uh, is what is on here. I actually have not looked at any uh, videos for this over the past year. I just skip them. Um, I did just look at this. Notes of dried fruit, honey, brown sugar, and lime zest is what that shows. I was looking for an ABV. Um, so, drink by August 29th, 24, uh, GI 1228, 13.9% ABV. So, GI, I think, is the barrel it was in or something like that. There was something going on with barrels like mine and other people's and all that stuff. So GI is my barrel. I'm not sure how much this was at all. But let's go ahead and get this open. Uh, this has been sitting out for 40 minutes. It will be up to you if you leave your set out longer or not. There we go. I'm just going to pour that much. Um, yeah, I, I want to say brown reddish head. It's dissipating quickly. Color on this one. Man. Uh, I've been doing a lot of stouts, barrel aged stouts. Um, this one, so on this cup, from what I remember, I did a couple yesterday, or I did one in this glass yesterday, and where the eye drop is, that one from yesterday, and I don't even know what it was, um, the very bottom of it had that like brown hue. This is almost like the whole thing. I'll say black. But it's not as black, I mean, as it could be. I mean, we can put the light on it. Yeah. I don't think you're seeing through that at all. Okay, let's go ahead and smell. I get that bourbon barrel. Um, oak oak woodiness um man it was like right there at the end before i stopped sniffing i that a big wood like fresh cut wood man hmm i'm almost i looked at that i think i get that lemon zest like bitter lemon or lime Man, I mean, it, it's just me. If I'm going to drink bourbon, I'll drink bourbon. Like, I understand what is going on here, but I still want that stout to come out. And I, I and this is why I left this one for a year, uh, just to see if that, if that barrel would come down a little bit. Now it seems like it's opened up just a little bit. Yeah, okay, that's better. Maybe it was just that initial, like bourbons, uh, most of the time, I'm not saying I know everything about bourbons, but I'll, I'll let it sit out and open up a little bit. Because um, that initial was like alcohol, like wood, and it, it's changed. I still get a bit of that that woodiness, that burnt ashy wood, 
that's in there, but that, that sweetness, and again, like that lime, like bitter lime, something like that is coming through. I do get like a light chocolate, like a Tootsie Roll in there, um, but that's about it. Smells better now, but let's go ahead and taste. Oh yeah, 10 times better. Um, yeah, smooth, chocolatey, like a fudgy chocolate. I get that line. Um, I'm, I'm guessing it's the brown sugar that they were talking about. I shouldn't have friggin' read that. Graham cracker is what they have. But on the back, I would say more brown sugar. Honey brown sugar. I get the dark fruits. You're going to get that. Um, maybe they're amped up because this is more on the sweeter side. Honey, I can... It, it's overly sweet. I don't know if they're saying notes of honey because of the sweetness or if they actually bottled it with honey or put honey in there at the bottling process. Because it is sweet, I could actually see honey in here. Man, that's easy drinking. I get like a dark fig covered in chocolate. Like very sweet honey chocolate. I don't know if that exists. Um, but I want to say that lime zest I keep looking at. Like something's breaking up the back end. Like you're not getting that sweetness all the way through the whole entire palate. Something's breaking it. And it's like it's going away. It's like I got a coating of sugar, honey in there, chocolate honey to be exact. But then like bitterness or, or something is going through, but you're still getting that honey, that sweetness. I do kind of get that oaky bourbon. But I would say vanilla, like, because this is on the sweeter side, I would say, like, a vanilla Tootsie Roll, chocolatey Tootsie Roll, something like that in there with those dark, darker fruits. Um, yeah, I thought this was going to be bad uh, from those first couple smells. Definitely a lot better. Yeah, so let this open up. And it's almost like, now that I'm drinking it, like it's a tart cherry uh, that I'm getting. That Instead of like a dark cherry, a tart cherry. Like those darker fruits, sweeter darker fruits. Because of all that sweetness. Yeah, that that's way better. That, that bourbon barrel isn't the forefront. It's in the background of this. Definitely what I want. Um, it is awfully sweet. Because what did the front of that say? Graham crackers. Where is that coming from? And what's the natural flavor? What's the natural flavor they're putting in there? Is it? There's no way they're using a natural flavor of honey, brown sugar, and lime, is there? Huh. Uh. For this one, I would go 4.25 out of 5. I think I would go a little higher if it wasn't so sweet. But it, it, it's a little too sweet in my opinion for me. Um, but yeah, 4.25 out of 5. Let's check on Uh 12 of my friends have checked it in. 4.55. Uh, 14,500 people. 4.36 out of 5. 
Um, let's see what they're saying. Bourbon fig brown sugar boozy. Um, October. Oh, that was a share. 4.3. These are all, okay. Um, Fig Newton cookie. Okay, I can kind of see that, but a Fig Newton is not the sweet. 4.5. So I'm probably a little low, but I'm, I'll stick with it. Yeah. Yeah, if you can, I, I don't know, uh, I do know uh, some beer stores or wherever these are sold, um, they'll keep some back for the fo for the next year. I've seen that happen multiple times. Um, so I would say if you didn't pick this up last year and you're getting the 2023 versions, um, which I haven't even looked at. I never look at that stuff. I don't want to hear anything about it. I want to go get what I can get, and then we'll go from there. But um, if they have this, uh, definitely worth picking up. It's still good. Like I said, you have until August 29th of 24 um, to drink this, which I'm guessing if I could find more, I would let them go further. Um, just to see what happens. I mean, there's a lot of sweetness. It might help for that sweetness to conk out just a little bit. Will it? I don't know. We'll find out. So if you enjoyed this review, check out some more over here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. And until next time, cheers.